Sabotage Jeff. This is David. Hi, David. Let's play Monster. Hi, Jeff. Yes, let's. I'm going to talk to the smart biologist. Ooh. Good to see you. Yeah, smart since biologist you... Smart biologist is uh, usually who we're going to be getting, uh, yes, as, as mentioned here, the go-getters. Yes. We'll be getting capture missions from mm-hmm. yeah, These are optional missions. Um... I, wonder, I forget exactly what the end of their sort of quest line gets you, but from one to the next, it's capture this particular monster, and then you get, you know, like, oodles of, like, research, resource points for it. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. It's and, good to do. And plus, also, we're in the very far-flung future uh, shooting for the, uh, the very last optional quests are only unlocked by doing all of the previous optional quests. So Right. Wait a minute. So if we're gonna do we'll everything. Get them all done. We'll get them all done eventually. Sometimes it'll be in a Rocky-like montage, but <laughs> we will, we will do them all. Yeah. Um, ooh, you're getting getting all your bounties up. Mm-hmm. See, I generally don't do the blue bounties. Blue ones, okay. Because I I don't know. Well, I probably should. I, it's what whatever you're actually gonna get done. Right. Like, the the idea of what's most efficient isn't what you can do fastest, it's what you will actually do. Right. <laughs> it's the first important step to learn. Mm. So, um, this episode, we are going after the researcher that got separated. Yes, if you, you'll recall in the previous episode uh, that we were taking on Baroth uh, as we were looking for you know, samples of Zort Macros. Uh, nope, that was two episodes ago. The last one was the... No, no, last one was the best kind of quest. Uh, yes, the barrel. Yes, okay. Yes, right. yes. I was, I was getting the order confused. Also because I have a lot of videos in different stages of production. <laughs> so true. It's, sure. it's Wait, almost on, like we we're... we're, was, we're oh, okay, I recorded, but then the edit, the edit isn't done on that one. But the other one was uploaded in this one. Okay, yes. So, yes. It's we're almost... by a barrel. It's almost like we do production on four videos uh, every time we do recording. It's weird. Uh, we, we are going to be using uh, some Kulu flavored uh, dual Ooh. blades. You, you of course, will also be using an, a, a fancy new heavy bow gun. Yes. Because uh, I'm be doing some cut, cut and combos. Yeah. Just do all the slice, 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 slice. Um, I've, I've decided the heavy bow gun is, is fun, and I really like using it. So it's back, back to the plot. Yes. The re- researcher got separated and is uh, being attacked by a mysterious monster, which we are going to not fight. But there will be another monster we'll fight instead. Right. Uh, when I first played this game, I didn't get what they were saying. <laughs> uh, yes, because... And I'll cover this when they do the dialogue. Actually, do they already do the dialogue for... No, I think that's at the end of the episode. I think that's at the end. You you finally talk to the um, uh, commander again. Uh, I'll I'll have words about what is what's a good what's a good word for the a term for let's say Japanese obfuscation. Mm. We have an emergency. Foreshadowing? Uh, Not foreshadowing. It's saying something that's plot important, but then leaving out the last word and trailing off with a dot dot dot. Oh, so like bad it's Xeno like, Gears foreshadowing. Yeah, it's like, do you think that you could? It couldn't have been that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And then the other person is like, yes, of course, that one. And yeah. Anyways, there's not a lot of that right. here, but there's enough of it to be like, guys, just, just say the name of the thing. It's like you're just you're looking for, you're looking for the Elder Dragon. <laughs> You skip the kitty. Just say, just you skip the kitty animation. <laughs> I did skip the kitty animation. We have we have going to eat a lot. We'll show the kitty animation in full when there is a let's say a new expansion to the kitchen. Hmm. Okay. But that is all. Okay. Uh, let's so the that that foreshadowing you're talking about, I just remember it very Blue specifically being like all of the storytelling. Attacks. For a huge chunk of Xeno Gears, so that's what that is in my head. In, in my mind, it's one. It's one of the worst parts of. Um, I should remember the name of the game. Mighty Number no. Nine. Ah, the writing in that game is so awful. Like one of the cutscenes is just a person sn- that looks kind of like Patrick Klepek, just in a room by himself, <laughs> being like, "If that person was." then that could only mean it couldn't be him 
unless that was true. And I was just like, who are you talking to? And why am I wasting my life listening to this? Wait, no, it couldn't be. Or could it be? Hmm. No trailing off into a hmm next time. <laughs> yeah, why were you playing Mighty game, Number what, Nine? Uh, look, I played Mighty Number no. Nine when it came out because I was excited to huh? play a Mega Man game from Wait, the Mega Man guy, and it didn't really work out. But, no, you know. no. Like, Wait, hmm. wait. What's going on with the scout flies? Also, the scout flies are blue. The scout flies are blue. Blue means Elder hmm. Dragon. Yeah, actually. So, or uh, tempered, but Elder Dragon. <laughs> For now. We, d we don't know that other word you just said yet. You mean that? You mean that? It couldn't possibly be that. The other the other one I really like is when they actually say a proper noun, but it's like a proper noun that has absolutely no meaning without mm -hmm. like any context. So it's just like, you mean he's zealot? Yes. He he's might be zealot. One of the four zealots yes and you're like, like okay okay <laughs> what is like okay cool i guess great what awesome are you talking about? wonderful um yeah i i mean we are complaining about the story in a monster hunter game where like well i'm i'm complaining about a storytelling trope that is used lightly in the end of this episode and more egregiously in other forms of media but why didn't you collect that round cactus because it takes too long. Okay. Also, you're right. wait, basically <laughs> waiting on me. To I, get I the am. Yeah. Dollar? What's that he's sitting next to? It looks like a, a bear off? Yeah. yeah. Excite shroom. Yeah. I don't think I actually got the excite shroom. I don't think I'll so either. I'll come back for it later. I'll come back for it later. <sighs> God, don't let him find me. See, don't let him find me. The non-specificity of this guy is okay because he's like freaked out. Like, I'll let that one slide. I, I saw it. Also, I'm not sure he knows what he saw. Right. N no, the Juratotus, that didn't kill the Baroth. It was a... Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Little intro to monster, which means that the cutscene's over, and now I can uh, finally bring in a ringer. Yes, a person with a big old gun that doesn't quite shoot the way you expect it to. Proceed with caution. Now the question is, can you shoot both ways? <laughs> both ways with my double. I guess you can. Okay, I mean, shoot both not... ways with my double leg yana. <laughs> yep, double leg yana. <laughs> Yeah, there's an internet meme. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a joke for me and you. <laughs> and that's about it. And that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that is okay. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes that's enough. <laughs> um, and hey, here I am. Hey, flew, flew in. Yep. All right. Yes, you, We're in. You, what, what weapon are you using? I am using the uh, Legiana heavy bow gun. And... Boy, it looks like a sniper rifle, doesn't it? It does kind of look like a sniper rifle. It's not, though. Also, dung beetle. I'm going to get this dung beetle. By kicking it first, then capturing it, then taking the rolled up dung, and then finally taking the non rolled, rolled up, up dung, dung that it rolled the rolled up dung from. Right, that was from so the bear off. Max, yes, the maximum amount of poop. Dung. And beetle. And also a dung beetle. Yes. Yeah, the. A little rare one. Ooh, my crystal. Mm. Nice. Another one. I don't know specifically what those are for, but I've used them. I think. Them. Yeah. Hey, they're, they're for stuff. I yep. just forget what. This is another camp location. I think we could build the camp right. here. The central camp. What's There's a the few other ones that we're gonna just poke my poke my head into so that it'll go on the uh, the request right. list. We'll, we'll eventually come back together and actually fight the monster. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing just doing. Just take a little bit, a little thing. harvest tour, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'll be. I am going to be using the dual blades. Right. Talk about the dual blades. Cool. Yeah. Like the dual blades. 
Uh, dual blades are often recommended as a beginner weapon because they're a little bit easier to understand uh, and they're a little bit faster, um, more mobile. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're they're like like all the weapons in the game. They're very particular. <laughs> so the dual blades have a lot of fast combos um, on your main button, which is you know triangle or mm -hmm. you know Y. Um, and then B button, circle buttons are usually your dashing combos. So you can dash with B and then do another B to like reposition like a helicopter in place. And then you can start your Y combos, which are a little bit more in front of you. Mm -hmm. But ultimately what you want to be doing is going in and out of demon mode, uh, which you do with the sort of right trigger, which I'm doing right now. Whoop. There it is. Uh, and then doing the uh, YB attack, the triangle circle attack, which is the uh, the huge demon dance. Now that one plants you in place and you can't cancel it. <laughs> you're just kind of doing it. <laughs> so you have to be, just make sure you're near the head and then do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the demon dance itself, uh, as far as meter management goes, you want to do attacks to build up the meter so that you can stay in demon mode longer, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Um, the demon dance itself doesn't do as much meter gain as the regular attacks, but it does a lot more damage. So that's, this, a, that's a pretty quick sniper rifle. Yep, <laughs> pretty quick. Uh, the thing to bear in mind if you ever do use this uh, is you deal more damage as you continue to hit. That makes sense. So um, just hold on and like if your armor is okay, most things aren't going to kill you with the hit. So just, just keep shooting until you're out. So we have the. Uh, Dual blades sheathed. Your first attack with the uh, Y is going to be, or triangle, or whatever, top button mm -hmm. is going to be the dash. The same dash that you can get by just using uh, right button. Some a little bit more head hits. Oh, oh don't, don't take die. a lot of damage, but don't die. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Superman <laughs> diving. <laughs> Superman diving into that cannot be pleasant. Uh, the leg on a. Heavy uh, bowgun has a whole lot of pierce ammos, uh, so you can just shoot for days through enemies like that. That makes sense. And it it does the pierce ammo as a quick reload, so you can just unleash. Dungeon. I'm just gonna stand to the side while you do that. <laughs> do some cuts, some quick cuts, you might say. Yeah, some very very a quick nice dodge. Cuts. Uh, I've gotten better at that because you'll notice yeah. I am not using the shield on the heavy bowgun anymore. Um, <laughs> There is, there's one monster where I still recommend that, uh, which we have not uh, fought yet, but the Diabolus, we've seen yes, it. The Diabolus, we've seen him come out of his little right. hidey hole in the northern which, regions. Uh, maybe I'm just bad, but boy, he is super unfun to fight with a heavy poke. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the Diabolus is what I like to fight with. The only monster I fight with heavy poke, specifically to get the the shield. No, no, no. Specifically just to get the horn break. Oh, right. Because I'll just put down a trap and then just do a chain gun in his face and then it'll break and then leave the quest. Because I don't actually want to finish the rest of it with the horn. Right. Okay. <laughs> I thought that you were going to kill me at that, that point. Fortunately, <laughs> your Toto's changed direction. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I have one hit left and I need to avoid this and then you staggered with this person <laughs> shot. My bad. It's like, well, that could have been bad. I didn't realize. I didn't realize the piercing shot could stagger you. Now I know. Well, in any kind of bullet can stagger. Right. Uh, it didn't. It didn't knock me bodily into the air like the uh, explosions do. But. Right. And I had already fired several explosions at this point, and you hadn't. I'm getting real close to the butt. Oh, oh there it is. I mean, there, there is an armor skill which will uh, prevent the, the mud, muddening. Right. Also an armor skill which will prevent the uh, slowdown with walking in water. All right, and this is me firing Slow cluster shots. Yep, there yep. I go. <laughs> Oops. We'll say that there was 50% you, 50% the monster. Yeah. Um, yeah, the cluster bombs are just a hoot to use, so I recommend having plenty of them. Trying to get get out of that like uh, Looney Tune style dust cloud. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Uh, hold on, I, I was like, I don't think that I was in range of that. I I object. And right that that right there is the sticky ammo, which will it'll explode a bit. There it goes. <laughs> yep. All right, let's chase him down using the the wonders of wedge beetles. Yes. Also, when he uh, goes forward, it will kick up mud piles, which you can use to. Um, well, it, it makes it shallow, so you don't have the, the penalty to movement speed. 
Also, swinging around on the wedge beetles is great. <laughs> yeah, it feels, feels, it feels real nice. It feels real good. You feel real super good at things. Um, competent, that's the word. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Are you stopping to grab some sleep herbs? Yeah. Okay. I need those sleep herbs. I mean, I can't really sound too judgmental considering I stopped in the mm -hmm. middle of the last hunt to carve a tail. Yeah, but... I really want to hit that parrot. <laughs> didn't make it. Yeah. That's all right. We've got the parrot toad. The trap is set. Yep. I kicked him. And blah. <laughs> all right. It's chopping time. Yeah. And I still I have some chain <laughs> gun, so. <laughs> this is. This is, this is the good part of the dual blades. <laughs> when they're perfectly immobile and you're just kind of tearing them apart. <laughs> the, the main use of dual blades, uh, well, aside from doing this, well, the other really cool move they can do is uh, you can do a spinning cut down their back, but that requires a little bit of setup. I don't think I would able to get it in this particular hunt. Mm -hmm. But because it does so many attacks, because of the way that damage is calculated in this game, which is extremely complicated, but uh, the, the short version is that uh, elemental damage, is sort of like element, which includes status effects. Mm -hmm. This guy's not getting away. No nope. we'll little combo. Trap, train. And we got teamwork. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that way, I don't have to use the trank. You use your tranks, and it's great. <laughs> It looks like you're just throwing a temper tantrum when there's not something yeah, basically. to hit. It's, ba it's basically what happens. Also, you, know, so you get Naruto run when you're <laughs> in demon mode. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yes. Be be arm behind back. It's like, that's impractical, but you know, <laughs> it's it's basically anime. Uh, like I was saying, because of the amount of hits that uh, fast weapons like the dual blades do, uh, they are good for elemental and status element damage because the... Right. The individual numbers on those are not affected by the motion values of the weapons. Instead, they're affected only by number of hits of weapon. Right. Uh, the the short version of motion value is the percentage of your raw attack power that a particular type of move will do. Okay. So, uh, a great sword's you know supercharged attack will actually be close to like a hundred or something like that, or maybe even like a hundred and ten. But then the just like tiny little poke of the first hit of the dual blades is what I don't know, like six, or mm -hmm. five, or I don't know. I don't know the exact numbers, but each each move has its own particular around, value, depending on and it's called motion value just because it's roughly analogous Thanks to the to amount of time it takes the move to do. Right. So you know it takes really long for a great sword charge, so it's naturally Our does have more done some of the raw damage. Now we know where Zora Magdaros will go next. It's heading for the Great Ravine. The Great Ravine? The huge valley out past the Wildspire? Correct. So I have a proposition for all of you. I say we try and capture Zora once it gets there. Have you gone mad? Capture it? Hear me out. The ravine is the perfect terrain for staging such an event. We're not going to get a better chance than this. <sighs> If we don't take this opportunity, it could be a decade before the next opportunity presents itself. Maybe longer. Is it even possible? If I said it wasn't, would that stop you? Let's give it a go. With the fifth supporting us, our chances are as good as ever. Then it's settled. Before we send the hunters out for the capture, we need to secure Astera. An Anjanath has been active in the area. Not the kind of monster you toy around with. We'll need a plan for it. You're right. Hunters, you have your next assignment. Take care of that Anjanath. But be careful. The Anjanath is a fearsome monster. One slip-up and you're done. One slip-up and you're done. Commander, if I may, I think I have a great idea. He does have a great idea. Yeah. Hunter, I could use your help. Drop by later, if you will. He's my favorite person Another thing. in Astera. Another troubling report we received. <laughs> the re report we received. Think, think you could. You could. Right. right. That Good, then. Thing. Let's get this show yeah. on the road. That was, we I think, the first time I realized that he was a character Everyone that existed. <laughs> the, the Huntsman. huntsman? <laughs> yeah, I was just okay. like, who's this he's Dark the, Souls looking guy back. just kind of hanging <laughs> out? <laughs> he just sits in the corner. He's one of the first weirdos. Yeah. 
Yeah. New monster means new armor. Yes. Let's go check out the armor. Yes. We'll uh, we'll talk to the biologist later. Yes. For the botanist. Biologist is for the capture quest. Right. You want to, you want the botanist for the uh, the plants, <laughs> which is what the botanist does. He has a very good plants. Come again. That's a he has a he has a plant for plants. Is it? Just making sure I heard you. Just make, make that, sure I got it. There's that Euro armor. I think it looks pretty awesome. That yeah, the, the it's, it's too Euro. bad it's not really good enough to make. But yeah. there you can take a look at it. It has muck resistance, which I it, it does, but yeah. Yeah. There's so little mud. I mean yeah. you bear out in Eurototos, but that's pretty much it. That's basically it, yeah. Focus is good. Focus yeah. uh, reduces the amount of time for charged moves. Mm -hmm. Um actually, is it all charged move or is it just File build up. No, it's uh, it makes the uh, the meter on the heavy bow gun go up faster too. Mm. I wonder if that applies to hammer. <gasps> You're a little gladiator. I the made gladiator that armor is very good though. I made that armor a uh, couple. His couple eye holes are little paw prints. <gasps> I never noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> what a great video game! It's such a good game. It's there perfect. There's also a paw print on the outside of the helmet too. I never realized the eye holes Evoking were Evoking memories of childhood playtime. <laughs> so there's, some, there's some good flavor text. Up. Yes. Uh, I will be equipping a little gladiator kitty. Yeah. I mean, I have to. Yeah. I'm ba basically contractually obligated to do this. To, to the gladiator kitty. Are you going to do the gladiator sword too? Uh, no. Hmm. Status weapons on the cat are so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever get elemental weapons for your cat. Nope. If you give them status weapons, they'll just cause status effects, you know, like once, maybe twice during a... Like during my a hunt, kitty does, where he great. just puts people to sleep. It's great. Yeah, and, it, and if you split the status effects up between different, you know... Uh, different cats or different weapons, then you're crocking all kinds of crazy effects on the monsters. So you just keep them locked down. Oh, so good. Next time we get the best thing, the farm. Yes. It's not actually a farm, it's a botanical research center, but... Yeah, it's a farm. It's a farm. It's yeah. Where, it, where instead of doing your own farming, you can have someone else do farming while you do your own farming. Yay! So, <laughs> it's double it's farming. It's efficient. It's So if you've enjoyed this and the content that we make, uh, feel free to go to our Patreon where you can support us every month. If that's not something you can do, uh, feel free to go to PayPal, do a one-time tip. Uh, and if not that, uh, do the like, comment, subscribe thing and tell people about our show. It couldn't be that. Do you mean the ma? I think you mean the... Could be. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I'm mixing. <laughs> You're mixing. Mi mixing. He Can't played. Shoot, shoot both ways. <laughs> <laughs> shoot both. It all started when he was trying to recapture playing outside of his hometown in the caves and the forest.